All right. <clears throat> well, you gotta do the intro, right? In an in an age long past, evil flooded over the land. Creatures awash in the dark ran wild, pushing mankind to the brink of annihilation. In its despair, mankind appe appealed to the heavens, and from a blinding light came hope. The sacred stones. These five glorious treasures held the power to dispel evil. The hero Grotto and his warriors used the sacred stones to combat evil's darkness. They defeated the demon king and sealed his soul away within the stones. With Wait, the, the hero is Grotto. Peace returned to Magvel. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I can't believe you. But this peace would not last. Dead air. Bad All right. Boy. All right. Here we go. All right. Continent um, of Magma. I'm actually. Gonna I'll take, read the title. I'm actually going to take this time um, to actually just re go over the intro. Um, yeah, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Matthew here with my good friend Artem. Um, and we are playing through Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones on difficult, which, for those of you familiar with the game, isn't actually that difficult. But. For my good friend Artem here, this is his first time playing through the game, and he's relatively unfamiliar with the Fire Emblem series as a whole. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how he plays through this game. Um, I, 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 Damn, I'm, I guess I'm a guinea pig, huh? Yes, I I know from experience that my good friend Artem here, uh, he's a smart lad. Uh, I would go as to say that he is smarter than I am. Um, which is not high praise if you know me, but it, you know, we have to set the bar somewhere. Um, and I can see, oh, fuck my, I <laughs> just hit my Keurig shit. Um, I, 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 honestly, the Artex voice might not have even picked it up. Um, so, yeah. so I'm not very smart, but I'm pretty decent at this fucking game. But that's no, that's nothing, that's no achievement. But I at least know this game well enough to know like how to beat it like with no problems, um, and I am curious to see how someone who is unfamiliar with it reacts to all this stuff completely blind. Now Artem is not completely blind because he played through the first couple of chapters with me in a lost recording that got we both fucked up on both recordings. Um, so we're just take two. Um, we're gonna probably breeze through this a little more quickly just because we already did it um, But after chapter two, uh, we'll be back to Artem Experiencing it fresh now as for rules for this playthrough This is going to be a soft Iron Man Meaning that any units that die are dead forever. We're not resetting for anybody But if your main character dies and triggers a game over we are going to continue playing the game However, any units that were lost before the game over are still lost. So, for example, if uh, Franz, one of your cavaliers, if he dies in chapter two, um, and then Erica dies right after that, and we have to restart the game, we are not allowed to use Franz or trade any of his items away. He's considered dead for the rest of the playthrough, and we can't use him ever. Even if he's still technically available in the convoy, we're not using him whatsoever. So we're just gonna like watch his cutscenes and stuff, and it's just gonna be real awkward. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but you know, if, if you're not shit, you know, you won't lose him. Um, you just just make good decisions, Artem. You know, that, that's wow. all you gotta do. Thanks. That's, that's good advice, man. Yeah. I just, appreciate. I'm going to try and not give you as much advice as possible because I want to see you do this blind. However, there are going to be a few things that come up where I do tell you a little bit about the, how it works because it's not super intuitive and you, you probably wouldn't know on your first playthrough anyway. But there's a few things I'll let you know just just to help you out, just to, just to help influence um, in like a good way. Um, Got also, it. There's one more uh, thing I didn't mention the first time we played this through. There is uh, a big complaint with this game um, is that there is, at the, towards the end of the game, you have the option to grind units at a place called the Tower of Volney, wherein you can fight a never-ending swarm of monsters and grind your units up 
to incredible levels. It's one of the reasons why this game is panned as being baby easy mode and people hate it for that. So just for the sake of the Fire Emblem elitists that I consider myself a part of, we are not going to be using the Tower of Volney unless like we literally have to. Like unless for if somehow your Artem you lose every single one of your fucking units and all you have left are garbage. Like that is the only exception in which I will let you grind at the Tower of Volney. Other than that, uh, we're not using it. So, it's not going to come up for a while, but I feel like I should establish that now, just in case um, this video gets seen by other people. Somebody gets buffed. Yeah, I don't want to have, I I'm not going to fight Elitus in the comments. Like, I understand, Elitus, I'm one of you. The Tower of Oni is pee poo poo pee pee baby mode, and I we're not going to be using it unless, like, it, it unless we're not going to be able to continue the Let's Play without it. Um, so... Now that that's established, we can continue with the game. Alright. Continent of Magvel. For some 800 years, a quiet place reigned in the absence of terrible dark. These sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been been built around their power and their legacy. The kingdom of Rene ruled by Fado, the peerless warrior king. My ass. He dies in the first chapter. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, really dumb. The kingdom of Pralia ruled by Hayden, venerable sage king. Sage King, my ass, gives me three units. Oh <laughs> my right, god. Right, right. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we get there. <laughs> I know, he's kind of the worst. He the kind of just said the kingdom of Jahan ruled by Ismer. 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 The queen of the white dude. She's pretty cute, though. I agree. The theocracy of Rostin. Ruled by Mansell, the Divine Emperor. Otherwise known as the Fuker Forest. The Grotto Empire, ruled by Vigard, the stalwart Silent Emperor. Oh, they- oh, I see! They just named the fucking Empire after Grotto. I thought Grotto- I thought Grotto was like a dude, like the Emperor's name, okay. Yeah, That's Grotto was, was a dude, he was one of the people who I sealed away yeah. the Demon King. That's that I was confused because they were saying like the Grotto soldiers, and I was like, "Hello, they're just calling these dudes by the emperor's name." Is that was that weird or what? Okay, no, the current and then you like were confused. Yeah, a Vigard. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, so that that clarifies that. Well, hey, I'm glad we got to clarify that. Yeah, these five countries house the power of the sacred stone. They're joined by the emerging, emerging mercantile Republic of Garcino. In these times of peace, tales of past conflict have drifted into legend, and memories of the ancient dark arts have all evaporated. It is now the year 803, and in an instant, the whole of Magvel is threatened by an unexpected The Grotto Empire, the largest of the sacred stone nations, has invaded the kingdom of Rene under order from Emperor Vig. Yeah, that dude totally looks evil, like not even Yeah. But also I'll... he's hot. Next. <laughs> Fire Emblem antagonists always look like the fucking same. <laughs> Like, they always look like just the most evil people ever. Shit, shit. You, you fucking, hold on. You, you, a long-time ally of Grotto, Rene is caught of off-guard, unable to mount any resistance. Yeah, Warrior King? Psh, psh, psh. Sorry. I always love the thing they do <clears> on Fire Emblem where, like, you can see the people traveling across the map. Yeah. I, you know, it's, it's not as hard to believe now that they just sent three dudes. <laughs> it's just three fucking generic soldiers. Hey, they said 
he could mount any resistance, right? So three dudes would suffice. <clears throat> Grotto's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. One dude per territory. Compounding King Fado's worries, his son, Prince Afrin, has gone missing. Grotto's momentum carries his armies to the gates of Casper Renate's. Rene will fall. It is. <clears throat> I'm so glad you're reading this because when I tried to do it the first time, yeah, I just yeah, I was exactly. The worst. I That's why I decided fucking everything. <laughs> That's why I decided. All right. Uh, just for context, it's, I'm, it's I'll, not I'm that you, you. It's not that you like mispronounced it. Is that you just pronounced differently every single time you read? I, it. I like, know it's every funny. time you encountered the the <laughs> name of the country, you pronounce it different. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm just just so we know, I'm gonna voice the king and Seth, and you can voice this blue unit and Erica. All right. Just so we're gonna establish that right now. Okay. Your meds, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Emperor Vigard's forces are within the castle walls. I understand. <clears throat> the Gusen has fallen. We've lost contact with Prince Efren and can expect no aid from him. Your Majesty, what are we to do? What else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. Father! Erica, are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Yes! I have it right here! Good. Seth! Yes, your majesty. Take Erica and head for Fralia. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. And what of your majesty? Me? I shall remain here. We have long held Grotto among our dearest allies. Yet now they attack? I must know why. Am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred, erred in my leadership? Yeah, right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Renee is mine to guide. How could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay. You must. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth. Ride. Take her to safety. Father! Forgive me, your highness. And now you know he just rescued her. This is an actual mechanic in the game. Ha-ho. What? You didn't know, you didn't know about that mechanic. The first time no. Saw the no way. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. Oh, yeah. Now it's time for my favorite cutscene. Uh, do you want to voice Franz or should I? <laughs> Uh, I can voice him. Okay. <clears throat> General Franz, ride ahead and bring word of our coming to Fralia. A single rider has better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne all that has happened here and petition for reinforcements. Understood. Later. Huh. Go ahead. Princess Erica, we must. Quickly, behind me! Oh, yeah, my favorite scripted cutscene. Alright, I, I want to voice this guy again. You there, with the girl! Tell me, would you be that wayward princess of Renee? Wait, 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 wait. He's asking you there with the girl, but. Oh, never mind. I'm, well, this I'm must done. be my lucky day. You're a dead man. The wench goes with me. Never. 
I am Valter, the Moonstone, Grano's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. Yeah, goddamn it, Seth. You have a fucking silver lance and you attack them with a steel sword? Like, you fucking idiot. That's the point. He has to, like... It, ha it has to it has to be, uh... It has to be, it has to be shitty. It has to be shitty. It has no. to be shitty. Yeah. And now I won't chase you for some reason. Such terrible wounds, and still he holds to his duty. How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away. Try to outrun death. More time to savor the hunt, even though you won't see me for like 15 chapters. And the kill! 15 chapters later. Takes a while to come back. Damn. I'm just gonna poke fun at, I'm just gonna poke fun at the story constantly, cause it's shit. Dude, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. All right. yeah, I know. Princess Erica, this way. I can see no more of Grotto's men. If we've made it this far, we've surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive my grabbing you so brusquely earlier. Don't be foolish, Seth. If it weren't for you, I would never have made it out of the... I have like four moves. You are the reason I'm still alive. You have my grab... I shouldn't say my dad though, too. Well, you can only rescue one unit, that man Arnold, was, so Seth could Whoever that man him. was... He was clearly after. Well, I mean, if they could get one horse into the throne room, they could get. Actually, yeah, Franz was with them in the fucking throne room. <laughs> no, it's just Franz. <laughs> Franz just doesn't have the aid to pick up the king. The king is fat. All right, his con God is way damn. too big. <laughs> then, then maybe, then maybe they should have switched. Actually, I think I think Franz has higher aid than Seth. Actually, we'll figure it out later. What? Yeah, I think we'll figure it out later. It's my fault that you received such a great wound. Don't allow me to treat it. I. Your Highness, you can't fucking use staves. What the fuck are you gonna do? Put a fucking bayonet on it? You piece of shit. I can't allow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't allow an injury like this to be an obstacle. <laughs> Damn it! I, a friend should have picked up one of those healers. Fuck! Ah, oh, this hurts. We have we have more important matters to attend to. Ah, ah, fuck. I'm bleeding everywhere. Oh god, this is gonna suck cleaning it on my armor. We, we must press on the Freyla. We must fulfill his majesty's wishes. Oh, oh god, it's everywhere. My blood. Oh. Da, da. I wonder how my father fares alone in the castle. Do you think he's safe? And what of my brother on the grotto's front? We've heard nothing from him for days. Again, I'd like to go back to the scene I, I said like last time, where it's just like smash cut the Ephraim uh, with a killer lance just massacring like a wave of soldiers <laughs> just like instantly. everything. Yeah, just like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. Seth wishes he was Ephraim. Yeah. Oh, all right. King Fado and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. I doubt even the might of the Grotto Empire can hold them in check. Smash cut to Erica's dad, who is bleeding out on the floor right now. Like super God, dead. God damn it. Stop interrupting, Matt. We're no, that's the, fun, that's the, the funny here. part. <laughs> More important to me, your highness, is that you look after your own safety. How sad the two of them would be, the one of them, uh, if something were to happen to you. Can't be sad if you're dead. We must reach Freylia to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course. Until I'm reunited with my father and brother, I must not this. Come, Seth. Let's go. Once we cross that bridge, we will be in Fralia, near border Mulan. Let us proceed, Princess Erica. Your Highness, I won't lie to you. 
This will not be an easy ride. Please take this rapier. If something should happen to me, you must continue to Freya, alone if need be. So this is something I didn't actually mention. Wasn't she? Last wasn't time. she holding a rapier like the whole time? Yeah, well, her sprite was. Anyway, this was something I didn't mention to you last time, but the rapier is actually her preferred weapon. No one else can use it. Oh, great. Yeah, I just I didn't mention that last time, but I think it's important that you know. There, Renee Dogs. Where do you think you're going? Grotto's men. Stand back, Princess Erica. Oh god, my lover! It's okay, Seth. My brother told me something of sort. I will stand with you! <laughs> it's done. Done is on the sword play, huh? <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, yeah. Erica. So before before we before we get start playing, we're gonna do unit review. Unit review. All right. All right. So, so so we're we're going to review. Do you want to explain the, what yeah, it is? We're going to review the units as they appear on a scale of one to ten. Um, we're both going to review them, but I'm not gonna tell Artem my review. I'm going to have my review on the screen so that way the audience can see it. But I don't want to influence Artem. With my review, I don't want to tell him exactly which units are bad and which ones are good. So I'm not going to tell him my answers because I already know which units are the best and which aren't. Like, I could tell Artem how to play this game as optimally as possible, but I don't want to do that. I, I want yeah, him well, to... last time you were... You were... Yeah, I said a few things that I probably shouldn't have <laughs> about units being shit, but um, I'm going to try my best to not do that. Um, so we're going to start off, we have two units, we have Erica and Seth, uh, Seth Seth, uh, here, so, just, we, we can scroll their stats and see exactly what they're good so, at. So, I, yeah, because I haven't seen any other units in this game, I'm gonna, like, my scale from 1 to 10 would be, would only have two spots for 1 and 10. By you know, it's very clear that Eric is worse than Seth. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what's I don't know what what scores are good, what scores are bad. So for now, for yeah. now, I'm just putting Seth in ten and, and Erica in one because uh, well, all of her stats are lower than so. So that's, yeah, Seth is ten, Erica is one. Self Yes. Okay. And I will have put but, my uh, review, my score on the screen as well. But again, that's just, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that like, there there can be nothing better than Seth. It's just that for now, that's my, that's the only two units I've seen. So the only, the, 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 the very low and the very high of my scale. So let's see here. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm just going to give a brief kind of sum up synopsis of Fire Emblem as a series, because I know there are going to be a few people, <coughs> Austin, uh, who might watch this, who don't really know anything about Fire Emblem. Um, and we're gonna, I'm going to start with uh, my just my history with it. Um, I started playing Fire Emblem when I was around like 14 off of an emulator. I, I hear this story a lot in the Fire Emblem community. A lot of people started playing this, this game from an emulator. Um, and I just kind of fell in love with it. I don't know why. I honestly don't even know why I picked it up in the first place. But something about it captivated me. And I've just been playing it ever since. Um, and like this was my first game. Uh, oh, we got some dialogue. Uh, all yes. that's left is their leader. Oh my god! My Erica hmm. got almost a fucking perfect level up. Alright, cool! That's a good way to start! How did you... Did you... Hmm. I gave her every kill on the map. This is 
you see there, Adam? Yeah. Okay, you're screen froze for me. Is it still frozen? Uh, it's fine now. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I obviously I've already beaten the map. Um, but, yeah. So, back to what I was saying. Um, Whoa! What was that? You yeah. think you can take me, Red Lordling? Come! It's time you hide my knife, learn to respect the true warrior. Oh. I put him in the forest. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Un here's the oh. thing, though. Yeah, he has the forest, but he's fighting Seth. Like, bitch could it's be true. on a fucking peak, and Seth would still hit him. Several times. Fair. Like, <laughs> fair. What? How? Very nice. So, did he give every one of those kills to Seth? Yeah. Interesting. So, so before we continue with the voice acting, I just want to ask. So, you've probably noticed something by now from what you. Oh, you just skipping through the dialogue. Okay. Um, Sorry. You probably noticed My something. Bad. The, I accidentally you, pressed. You probably noticed this because you played. We, we did this before, and this is your second time playing this map. But you've noticed that Erica gains more experience than Seth does, right? Maybe. So this, I'm going to just explain how this mechanic works to you, um, just right now, so that way we don't have to worry about it later. So, XP, not all characters gain XP the same. Some characters will gain it faster, others will gain it slower. And that depends on what class you are. So a promoted class will get less experience than an unpromoted class, and base classes will gain hella XP, but we'll talk about those when they come up. So Seth is already a promoted class, you could call him either a tier 2 or a tier 3 depending on which kind of way you want to categorize them, but he's already promoted from Cavalier to Paladin, so he is going to gain basically no XP unless from boss kills, which give extreme amounts of XP. Uh, the boss kills will gain like 90 e experience or higher, right? So Seth mm -hmm. will gain a bunch of experience from boss kills, but like barely any from mer from merc kills, right? Mm -hmm. So th that is a mechanic in the game and it does apply to all units, right? And this, this is a very basic mm -hmm. way of explaining it. There are other factors, um, but it, it's really just numbers, and I don't want to get into it right now because I don't want to get them all wrong. But basically, that's mm -hmm. how the XP uh, works in this game. So, if you've got a promoted unit, we would call Seth in the Fire Emblem community a Jagan. Well, it's not a bad idea to give kills to your Jagan because they usually have good growth rates and you want them to get good stats anyway. You shouldn't feed them all of the kills typically like if erica got a level up there it would help her out so you wanted me to go into this drive but you're giving me so much information right now. well right but like this i feel like this is just basic gameplay knowledge that you should just know it's like how to play i feel like that's such it's such an important thing to understand that it, it's kind of crucial in like understanding how the game functions understanding something something as simple as mm -hmm. xp i feel like i don't feel like that's yeah. like I don't think that's helping you to like understand like I don't think it's gonna too optimally affect how you play because I'm not saying you shouldn't use Seth at all I'm just saying that like hey careful who you're feeding XP to because XP is a resource you need to manage especially if we're not using the Tower of Volney right so fair I, enough it's just I the gameplay mechanic more than it is like telling you how to play you can you can fair kill enough. everyone with Seth if you want like, I'm not going to tell you who to kill with who just to optimize your experience. I'm just telling you how experience gains work. I don't want to hear any fucking sure. bitching All in right. the comments. We got some like, dialogue. Uh, he fucking, you said he wanted to go in blind. Uh. All right, no, that is the gameplay mechanic. All right, anyway. So, Seth said, because I'm still on that screen because you skipped it. Princess, are you injured? Oh, what? Oh, I'm fine, Seth. Shit. <clears throat> but you look so pale. You didn't even fight once in that encounter. I'm fine. I'm... This is war, isn't it? 
It's not at all like the games I used to play with my brother or Lion. I never thought. I didn't know it would be this savage. Are words useless? Is strength all that matters? It's so sad. Yeah, I compared Erica to uh, Arctic in our D&D campaign. Why would the Grotto Empire do this? To what end would they start or? Hold on. Now that you brought up campaign, so in this game, and from my knowledge in all Fire Emblem games, hair color is like, who gives a shit? Everyone gets a different hair color. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all anime and bullshit. And you bitched about it when I started doing that <laughs> in my campaign. All right, well, we don't, have to, get into this. We don't have to get into this right How now. How dare right? you? I, I was more also, upset about the green with horse. That with, with that logic, let's say this. If they fucking, like, put a helmet on Erica, or, like, I don't know, dressed up as, like, commoners or something, then those Wyvern Rider dudes wouldn't have noticed them at all, and also probably those bandits wouldn't give a shit about them. Do you know how much conditioner so... Erica uses in that anime hair of hers? She wants to show it off, alright? Like, she, yep. she spent a lot of time in the mirror every morning, alright? She's not gonna cover up. <laughs> I don't know, man. Now that she got now, now she has to deal with blood all over her hair. So I no, would no, she say doesn't. That. You didn't ever fight once in that fucking encounter, Artem. She's got no blood anyway. In your in your in your game, yeah. Right, yeah, in right. mine, she killed everyone like, a, and got a fucking amazing yeah. level up. So then she has to deal with Seth's blood on her fucking hair. All right, because <laughs> yeah. she was. She was standing behind him when that fucking wyvern dude stabbed him. All right, <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> yeah, Princess. I read that. Don't worry, Seth. I won't give in to sorrow. Let's get. I'm not broken. I won't stop until I see Renee. I won't stop until I'm reunited. With my father and yeah, I don't know, I'm man. Def when I'm, I'm definitely when going reading to. when reading her, I keep making it sound like she's about a. But that yeah. also well, no, sounds like honestly, her character. That's so fucking <laughs> accurate. It it like hurts a little. <laughs> Damn, I'm, really? I'm definitely going to put a screenshot on the screen of my Erica's level up. Cause like. That is such a good fucking level up. Like I can't believe that fucking luck right there. Like I got a good feeling about this playthrough. Um, all right. Well, this is where all we're right. gonna end uh, the first episode. Uh, the prologue. There was a lot of talking, a lot of explaining. The next episode, uh, it, it'll still have a lot of dialogue. Unfortunately, it's a pretty dialogue heavy game. But that's fine. Uh, we're gonna Damn. try and spice it up as the much. The bad as game possible. designer there. We're gonna try and spice it up as much as possible. I'm gonna try and put funny bits in if I can. Just like, just you know, like I did, like stuff they don't say, but stuff that's implied. Just I'm gonna try and spice it up as much as possible because honestly, the story leaves a lot to be desired. It's it's ba it's purely bare bones, and in some places, it's just bad. Like it, like when I was a kid, I didn't mind at all. Like I was like, oh, this, this is a cool story, but like it's it's pretty fucking basic. Uh, so I'm going to try and spice it up as much as possible. So. Thank you, everybody, for watching, uh, and I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. This is going to be a pretty regular thing. There's probably not going to be any kind of schedule for it, but expect to see the entire playthrough up at some point um, in, like, bite-sized chunks. We might... It'll probably just be, like, a chapter every episode, maybe, or we might go longer. I don't know. Um, we'll probably, see. Do, probably long next time, just this yeah, time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um... You can subscribe if you want, I guess. Uh, it'll at least let you know when new episodes come up. Um, and you can like, I guess, I don't think it does anything. And I don't know, it'll make me feel good. But like, I don't think you get anything out of it. So, I'm not so yeah, to do it. smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you later. Oh, fucking Fire Emblem Mecha. He, he said something so, I, I like, it's so corny, but I like it. it like He says, re rec recruit the like button by turning it blue. Uh, it fucking... It's such it's so good. I'm not gonna say that, but like, I, just, I just love that. Anyway, um, more importantly, leave a comment and tell Artem uh, how funny he is, um, because you know I, I think he deserves credit. I would he, I would appreciate it. He's gonna, a little, he's, gonna, he's gonna carry this fucking let's play because how charismatic and funny he is.
and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.